Hey, in this video you're going to learn how to work the purl stitch, but I'll also share some tips for reading your stitches, and at the end of the video I'll show you how to bind off in the purl stitch. Are you ready to work the purl stitch? This is the second stitch that you'll need for all of your knitting. Once you know how to knit and how to purl, you're ready to tackle anything. So I've already cast on 15 stitches and I've knit one row. So I'm back at the beginning of my row. The work is in your left hand. Your empty needle is in your right. Remember, it doesn't matter if you're right or left-handed. You use both hands to knit. So decide which hand you want to hold your working yarn in. I prefer to hold it in my left hand. Wrap the yarn for tension if you need to. And to start the purl, we bring the yarn to the front of the work, but not over our work. Bring it under and to the front, just like that. And we insert our needle. There's our stitch. We insert it from right to left. In a knitting stitch, we go this way. For a purl stitch, we go in the opposite direction. We start from behind and insert into that right leg to the left. And we take our yarn and bring it up and over and around, pull it through, and pull that stitch off the needle. Let's do that again. Our yarn's in the front. Remember, it's not over our needle. It's between the two needles to the front of the work. We insert our right needle into that next stitch on the left needle from the right to the left. Bring the yarn up and around. Pull that stitch through and drop the old stitch off the needle. Insert right to left under that leg. Bring the yarn around. Pull it through and off the needle. Insert, wrap, pull it through, off the needle. Wrap the yarn and off the needle. Let's continue with practicing that across the row. Wrap the yarn, pull it through. When you're knitting, the head of that stitch that's coming off the needle is pushed to the back. But as you're purling, look at the, what's happening to this stitch that you're pulling off the needle. The head of that stitch is right there underneath. That is what we call our little purl bump. It's created by working this stitch and bringing the head of that stitch right there beneath our needle. We insert, we wrap our yarn, pull it through, and look what's happening to that stitch right there. We get a little purl bump underneath. Insert, wrap the yarn, pull it through. There you go. You can see that row that we've just finished. The heads of the stitch are right there on the front of our work. I'm going to turn. And on this row, I'm going to knit. Let's just review our knit stitch. We insert into that stitch, bring our yarn up and to the right, pull it through, drop that stitch off. Insert into the legs of that stitch, wrap the yarn, pull it through, drop the old stitch off. We'll continue knitting this row. When you knit on one side and you purl on the other, the fabric you produce is called stockinette. It's flat, not as definitely not as stretchy as garter, but most commercial sweaters you'll find in the store are generally in stockinette stitch, where it's got those rows and columns of little V's. You can start to see it forming here. So we turn our work. The work is in our left hand, empty needle in our right. The, the working yarn is hanging right there. 
ignore your tail, find your yarn. Let me see, I'll try this with my right hand. I don't usually knit with my right, but we'll give pearl, pearl, this pearl row a try. Okay, so we insert just like that. We're bringing it behind. Remember our yarn is to the front. Usually when we knit it's to the back, but when you're purling it's to the front, not over, but brought to the front just like that. We insert, wrap our yarn. This is a little difficult for me with my right hand. A little further to travel on this side. Okay, this is quite difficult for me. Okay, wrap, pull it through. There we go, there's our first stitch. Let's see, maybe it'll be easier now that I have that first stitch on the needle. Okay, insert behind that leg from right to left. Bring the yarn up and under. Pull it off. I am much more used to using my left hand, so this is a process for me to purl. Oh, where am I? Okay, let's try that again. Yarn's there. Insert. Wrap that around. Pull it off. Ooh, my tension is not good. You can see my stitches are quite loose. We don't want them tight, but we want them to move freely, but we don't want them to have a lot of space like that underneath. I guess I need to practice more with this hand. Pull it through and off the needle. Insert, wrap the yarn, pull it through, off the needle. Why don't you leave a comment below and tell me, do you knit with your right hand or your left? With the working yarn, I mean, which hand do you hold it in? Any tips for working with the right hand? I'm very used to my left, and this is especially, I can knit easily, more easily than I can purl, obviously. There, you see those little stitch heads forming? When we pull them off, there's that little head. There's the head of the stitch, our pearl bump. And in stockinette, we want all of those little bumps to the back of the work. So the front of our fabric is quite smooth with all of those little V's. There, and we have purled another row. So we'll turn our work after that last stitch. See what's happening here. You can see garter tends to lay quite flat, and, but you can see already just this few rows are stockinette stitches curling right up. That's why you'll always find stockinette usually has some sort of a border. There'll be rib along the bottom or some other stitch pattern to control that curl. The bottom and the top will curl in, and the sides, when it's longer, will also curl. But let's knit another row. Back to my left hand, since that is much easier for me. Insert, pull that stitch off. There, the longer, the more practice you have, the faster your knitting will be. It's not a race by any means, but you'll just find that muscle memory kicks in and you just know which way to wrap things and where to go. There, so we finished knitting a row. Let's practice purling one more row. Okay, work is in the left hand. Empty needle in the right, and there's our working yarn. We want it towards the front this time. We'll go back to my left hand. Okay, working yarn is here. Remember, it's not brought over the needle. 
because it's in the back when we knit. We don't bring it over. We want to bring it under. So hold it down out of the way. Ignore, there's that head of that loose stitch on the edge. We just make sure that's down out of the way. Insert, wrap, pull it through and drop that old stitch off the needle. After you start to get used to the movements, really look at what's happening on your needles. So you can start to identify what's happening with the stitches and how they're formed and how they look. That makes it much easier if you have to correct a mistake. You'll know what you're looking at. So you can see as we insert, there's the head of the stitch. We insert, wrap, and as we pull it off, the head of that stitch is right there on the front of our work. And that's where we get all of those bumps, all of those rows of purl bumps. Those are all of the heads of the stitches below. When you're working in garter stitch, knitting every row, you get those bumps on both sides. But when you knit a row and then purl a row, you're keeping all of those bumps to the back of the work or to one side of the work. You might want the, this reverse stockinette side to be the front of your work. You can see all of the purl bumps. This is the reverse, reverse stockinette on this side. It's still curling up here, but you can see all of the rows of our stitches. So let's compare that to our little pipe cleaner stitches. See there's our V. If we had one inserted above it, you'd pull the yarn through like that. You can see there's the V of the stitch, just like that. And the head of the stitch is in behind. We can't see it behind the stitches. Well, these are quite loose, but you can't see the heads on this side. But you can when you flip it over. There's our reverse stockinette. And there is the head of that stitch, just like we see in our reverse stockinette here. So when you're purling, pretend this is a stitch that's on our needle and you're inserting your new needle. In knitting, we come this way and bring that stitch through. When we're purling, we've got our yarn in the front and we're bringing it through to the back. So it's coming this way and it's pushing this head to the front of the work. So. Are you starting to understand how your stitches are coming together and how they work? Let's work one more row in the knit stitch and then we'll bind off on the purl row. So we'll bind off. Remember our yarn is to the front, but not brought over or anything like that because we've got that loose stitch on the end. We don't want to accidentally create an extra stitch from that. So that's in the front. We insert from right to left, wrap, pull it through, and repeat until we have two stitches. Now to bind off these stitches, we Certainly don't want to just pull out our needles and leave that. It will just unravel. All we have to do is just like we would for knitting, insert your needle into the first stitch, well, the second one over here, and bring it over that first one. There, and you've bound off one stitch. And you'd repeat that across the row. Insert and bring it up and over. You might have to hold on to that stitch if it feels like it's sliding off. Make your normal purl stitch. Pull it through. Up and over, just like that. And you 
keep working until you come to the last stitch. There we go, we're on the final little bit. Last one, purl that final stitch. So now we have our last two stitches. Bind off one more, and there. We've already worked this final stitch, so all we need to do is cut the yarn and just pull that through, just like that. That's all you need to do. That last stitch might be a little loose, but we'll learn about how to fix that in another episode. So we knit on this side, purled across the back, and produced this stockinette fabric. See, there's all those little purl bumps on our reverse stockinette side. Click like and subscribe below if you want to keep getting nerdy with your knitting.